Xi Jinping is arrogantly leading China to disaster. China's President Xi Jinping has set a repressive and aggressive course for Beijing, at home and abroad. Zhu Peng slash Xinhua via AP. Xi Jinping's speech Sunday at the Chinese Communist Party Congress, poised to make him president for life, marks Beijing's final return to aggressive totalitarian rule. The West hoped that admitting China into the global economy would mellow the CCP. Nope. China's international influence, appeal and power to shape the world have significantly increased, Xi bragged, warning of dangerous storms ahead. In other words, Beijing will use its new wealth, and the military it allows, to press its claims to independent, free Taiwan and across the South China Sea. Domestically, its high-tech advances allow ever greater oppression, massive surveillance plus state-controlled social media for enhanced societal control and pushing the ultranationalist party line. Xi has shut down independent churches, temples and mosques. His genocidal efforts to reprogram the Uyghur minority are a horror on par with China's profitable harvesting of the organs of dissidents of all stripes. He has purged the CCP of meaningful opposition. Nary a voice is raised in protest of his insane zero-COVID policies that have a fifth of the country in lockdown, economy be damned. And this is Xi Jinping's weakness, absolutism breeds disaster. Decades of a brutal one-child policy have left China facing a rapid population crash. The crackdown on Hong Kong's freedoms and on its tech sector add economic instability even as state dominance of the banking sector all but guarantees a financial